We're now going to consider specific heat. Now, solids, liquids, and gases can all have a specific heat. The specific heat is the amount of energy, usually in the form of heat, that needs to be added in order to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance, one degree C. So as an equation, we can write Q is equal to MC delta T. In this equation, Q is the heat which is transferred. It's an energy, so measured in joules. M is the mass measured in kilograms. C is the specific heat, which is measured in joules per kilogram per Kelvin, or we can measure it in joules per kilogram per degree C. In fact, these units are the same thing because a change of one Kelvin is the same as a change of one degree C. Delta T is the change in temperature in either degree C or Kelvins. Now the specific heat depends upon the substance which is involved and it can also have a slight dependence upon the temperature. So sometimes at higher temperatures we need to add in more energy to get the same change in temperature of that substance. So let's consider the specific heat of some common substances. Now water is a very special substance with an unusually high specific heat. So the specific heat of water is 4186 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Now this really high specific heat of water is actually what makes it so pleasant to live in coastal areas. In coastal areas there's a lot of water around us with a high specific heat. So on hot days that water can absorb a lot of energy with a very small change in the temperature. So this helps to moderate temperature fluctuations. Consider on the other hand being in the middle of a desert. In the middle of the desert you can be surrounded by sand and sand has a much lower specific heat of 840 joules per kilogram per kelvin. So on the same hot day where we're supplying the same amount of energy from the sun, there's going to be a much larger temperature change in the sand. So if you're standing on that sand, it's going to get very hot. And so you're going to experience a much higher change in temperature. Now the specific heat also depends upon the phase of the substance. So if we consider water which is turned into steam, then the specific heat of the steam is equal to 2010 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Well, when water is ice, its specific heat is 2090 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Metals tend to have relatively low specific heats. So some common metals, we've got aluminium with 910, Brass, 377. Copper, 390. Lead is particularly low, 130. Steel is 456. And iron, which forms a major component of steel, is very close to that at 448. Glass is another example, not a metal, and it's got a specific heat of 837.